Okay, today in the laboratory, we have a different kind of car we're working on. And I just wanted to show that with the car itself hooked to life support, it does okay. Ooh, well, okay, maybe not that okay. But it does go. The steering may be smoked. I haven't taken anything apart. But it sounds like the gears are trashed in the front. Um, but I did want to talk about... I just wanted to see if the car was okay and it's just the batteries. Which I'm pretty sure it's just the battery packs are done being recharged. Um, and we can address that. I'm going to make a little battery killer thing if you were to resurrect this. But I suspect that with the steering being plastic gears, they may be done. And so this thing may not be worth resurrecting. So this is, I'm just leaving the camera sit here. I just wanted you to see what all's going on in here for steering. Let's see if we can see. Oh, now the heater kicks on. I hope you can still hear. Let me zoom you in. I think we have, this is just a set of reduction gears because this motor turns so fast, you don't want it to, this just actuates the wheels back and forth. Look at that. I mean, that's your steering response. So it has to reduce those RPMs down to something manageable. actions actually stop. We get a pointer. Alright, so obviously this rotates. This is the motor. And it's getting through here. This gear set to this gear set to this gear set. And then it stops. You can see right there. I think it's because that little plastic gear, let's see if we can get in there and look at the teeth. Those teeth are worn out. Those are the ones that mesh with this, which then turn the wheels, see. It's hard to on these little RC cars. To steer it gently but you can see this motor turns a billion rpms and then it just gets slowed down through all these little gear sets but still you're still hitting stops the steering stop boom boom super quick and uh, yeah it takes a toll on those little nylon gears teeth so, I'm going to say it's time for a new car. Then I'll still show you how to, if you do get another car that it has NICAD batteries, how to uh, maximize the life out of them. Okay, so I hope you can hear me. The heater running. It'll shut off in a minute. So, NICAD nickel cadmium batteries 
have to be completely discharged before you recharge them. Or they build up what's called a memory in them and they won't take a charge past that point. And it eventually just grows and grows and grows to where it doesn't take a charge anymore at all. And it, it, it's going to happen no matter what. Um, but to prolong the life of your nickel cadmium batteries. What I do, I have an old set of DeWalt um, cordless tools that still take the big fat NICAD battery packs. And so I built the thing using uh, a tail light bulb and the socket, one of those late model car that, you know, twist into the plastic housing. I pulled that out with some wires and I uh, stick that on the top of the battery and let it finish discharging. It won't run, it's, it, there's not enough power to run my drill but there's still power in it. And so I, there's enough to run that bulb. And so I plug that into the top of the battery and uh, until that bulb goes out. And then I know it's discharged. And then I throw it on the charger. And uh, they've lived probably longer than average. I don't know if you can see, let's see. Like this is still glowing. This is a blue LED and it's still glowing blue. You have to look straight down on it. So this batter still has some juice in it. I'll let these sit and uh, till it is dead, dead. And then you can throw them on the charger. These are probably unrecoverable, but uh, new ones. Start start from the very beginning with them like that. And uh, they'll live much longer for you because these aren't cheap. And this one was on the charger for a minute. I just wanted to see its status. See, now it's glowing. And we'll see how long it glows. Now granted, you wouldn't do this with a fully charged battery because it'll take a while. These are 500 milliamp hours, which means it will do, it will flow 500 milliamps for an hour. And this, this LED flows like 20 milliamps. So if you want to do the math, if this battery lasted one hour at 500 milliamps with this LED only pulling 20. That's like 25 hours, I think, if my math is right. So we're not going to sit here and stare at this for 25 hours. I just wanted to show you this is what you do until it's completely out. And like I said, this one's still kind of glowing. If you can see it, it's still got a little bit of blue in there. So usually you run them dead. This one's actually getting not as bright as before. The camera may not pick it up, but it is not as bright as it was. Yeah, you run your RC car or whatever these cordless drill, whatever they run till it doesn't run anymore. Then you throw these LEDs on it. And I can show you how to hook it up because it does have to go on. If you put it on the opposite way, it won't light up. See, so throw it on one way, it doesn't light up. Throw it on the other way. If it does light up, then just leave it. If it still doesn't light up, then your battery may be completely dead or some other kind of defect. So there you go. This battery is pretty stout. So I put the other LED in because the other one was dead. I put it on the charger just to see. This dude's been discharging now for a couple hours. And yeah, well, I said it was take 25 hours to discharge. We just doubled its speed. But um, yeah, it wasn't fully charged. To to begin with. So it's pretty impressive. And as always, if there's any question, follow the manufacturer's directions. So in this case, before you charging, please use all power, make the battery fully discharged. There you go. Words to live by.